Hello my lovely people, I'm Zoha and welcome to Zoha Insight. I hope you all are perfectly fine. Today I'll be sharing my current beauty slash makeup favorites. I was getting quite a few DMs and comments regarding this so I thought it's a good idea to share my current beauty slash makeup favorites with you lovely people. So let's go. Before jumping right in, I have a little important thing to share with you all. Uh, Nykaa's Navratri sale is live from 1st October to 10th October and in which you are getting products in like up to 40% off. So all these products you can consider my top recommendations for that sale as well. And in fact the Diwali sale, the Shara sale is also coming it's right here only so you can consider these products in my top recommendations for this festival season first is laneige water sleeping mask i love to use this at night like a sleeping mask like a moisturizer it really helps to hydrate and make skin super glowy and plump in the morning uh, also i like to use this as a moisturizer like a really nice hydrating plumping dewy glowy moisturizer underneath the makeup so i like to slather a good amount of this before applying the primer on my skin and allow it to sink in really nicely and then i apply the primer and the rest of my makeup it hydrates the skin really nicely makes uh, the makeup look appear like an even layer which is great it also helps to increase the longevity of makeup like your makeup will last for a little longer which is great and your skin looks quite smooth also foundation uh, blends glides on skin very easily and beautifully and it looks really nice it feels lightweight on skin and this will suit on all skin type beauties beautifully but you will have to consider the quantity you are applying on your skin as per your skin type now for primers i love to apply two or maybe three primers as for the makeup look i want that particular day or maybe event so uh, currently i have two favorite primers to share with you all and why i like to apply two or three primers because i have combination skin type so two or maybe three primers really helps to get that really nice base for the foundation and in that way my base makeup looks very beautiful even and flawless first is sugar the most eligible smoothing primer this is a lightweight mattifying primer but it's slight bit silicone not too much very slight bit which adds a really nice mattifying effect and it really helps to make pores look quite smooth and foundation applies beautifully on it this doesn't feel heavy or drying on skin which is great and also one more very amazing thing about this primer is that it has a little bit of peach tint in it which works like a bit of color corrector it really helps to even out the skin tone and minimizes the dullness and i like to apply it wherever i have the visible open pores like my t-zone area and a little bit wherever i have dullness at the moment like uh, if I have a little bit of dullness around my nose or mouth area like this happens uh, quite a few times in a year so I like to apply it on those areas as well. Now the next is K-Beauty color correcting primer in the shade peach uh, because I have light skin tone and neutral undertone so peach correctors suits me really well now earlier I used to go for the orange correctors but now peach correctors are my savior so this is a really nice hydrating water-based silicone free primer which makes your uh, base makeup very dewy glowy and hydrated it gives a really nice soft looking skin kind of base which is glowing at the same time and this comes in five shades so you can pick a shade as per the color correction you need in your skin i have the peach one and it's very lightly tinted not too heavy not too pigmented and in my opinion it's great uh, that these are not very pigmented it's just perfect in its way because these are enoughly pigmented to cover the dark circles, dark spots and uneven skin tone. 
Next is Color Bar Spotlight Illuminating Lotion. This is a beautiful product to add that luminous glow into the skin. Like it has a very uh, fine pearl scent sheen in it, which is very lightweight on skin and applies beautifully, blends beautifully on skin. And for that day-to-day -day glowing skin look, you can wear this over a moisturizer like I uh, prefer to apply as well. And uh, foundation over this looks really nice very natural looking and you will get that even base which is glowing at the same time so this is a must-have one now fourth I have the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal HD concealers I have two shades first is this pure beige which works great for my skin uh, whenever I have lot of dark circles and whenever I don't have much dark circles still this works perfectly because it has that bit of orangey tint in it which really helps to correct and conceal at the same time and it blends beautifully just like a dream and it looks almost like a skin like almost there is nothing on skin and gives that even looking skin uh, look so yeah this is a must-have concealer for sure and the second shade that I have is natural. This I really like to apply right here for the highlighting purpose if I need this. Like whenever I'm doing this kind of really nice glam makeup look, I really like to apply the natural shade as well. Or sometimes I like to mix these two as well. Like right now I've mixed these two and applied uh, both of them together and it's it's just so beautiful it blends beautifully it applies beautifully it looks beautiful almost like a skin and doesn't even emphasize the lines and textures it's very lightweight and it's just so perfect the formulation is really nice and I think you must uh, get your hands on these concealers this concealer range is having so many shades if I'm not wrong they have more than 30 shades so you can just go for your uh, shade. Also, this will be great if you have quite a lot of wrinkles and fine lines because this is so lightweight. So it's, it's just a perfect formulation for all skin type beauties. Now, of course, next step is a really nice foundation. And this is my current favorite. This is something that I'm enjoying i'm loving to apply this on my skin ever since i got it like three weeks ago uh, i'm using this only like no any other foundation from past three weeks i am using this non-stop like in every makeup look so uh, this is color bar 24 hours weightless liquid foundation and my shade is fc 3.1 you can get the details about my other foundation shades as well in description box and also some of the products I have reviewed already like I have detailed review video on some of the products so I'll add a link to those as well in description box so make sure to check if you're interested. The first most important thing that I love about this foundation is the blendability. It blends like dream. It blends effortlessly like just dot it and blend it and you're good to go like it blends in no time so if you are traveling if you're in rush in hurry and you want something that is really lightweight hydrating skin like and blends beautifully in no time then just go for this foundation this feels very much like skin as if there is nothing at all like you can see on my face i have applied this foundation today like i have uh, applied all the products that I'm sharing in this video with you all it's there on my face I created this really nice makeup look as well by using these products it's a fresh looking foundation and has a medium to a uh, buildable coverage so you can apply a little bit to get that BB cream kind of everyday effect on your skin and one more thing I really like about this foundation is it takes quite a lot of time to oxidize like it feels it looks exactly as your shade on your skin and after like six to seven hours you might feel that there is slight bit of change not too much not something crazy that it's there in your face not at all very slight bit and every product you apply has a tendency to oxidize you can't stop but you can definitely delay as per your makeup application and also 
the oxidizing process varies from person to person especially the environment you live in and also the skin type you have it's definitely a non-drying foundation and stays at a place for a really long time like it's a long lasting and non-drying foundation it uh, lasts uh, like it says 24 hours staying power but I applied uh, foundation this particular one for almost 10 hours a uh, little more than that so it was staying like that only it was intact and it was looking beautiful not at all drying it was looking pretty fresh and it made me feel like that i should take it off immediately so i think this is something you can get your hands on if you're looking for a really nice foundation under thousand rupees this is priced at 995 or 999 i know this uh just five or maybe one rupee difference but you can get this on a really nice discount right now this is on 20 percent off if i'm not wrong you can check the purchase link uh this comes in 30 shades which is great because we have so many beautiful skin tones out there so 30 shades are really nice but more thing i really like about this foundation is the packaging it's super travel friendly it's tube and comes with a pump so it's great for the application on the go and this does uh has a really mild scent uh, which doesn't even bother my nose and doesn't even feel after the application this is a great foundation for all skin type beauties and i think this is a must have in your makeup collection to set my base makeup either i like to apply the k beauty loose powder and my shade is banana and sometimes i like to go with the, the k beauty matte compact and my shade is 100 and light to keep the makeup last for a really long time i like to go for the loose powder uh, it's very soft very finely milled it doesn't have any kind of coverage in it so it's really nice if you don't want that heavy looking base it's really great for that natural looking and light base i really love this powder of course you can bake with this uh, loose powder around the here under eye area little bit on the nose and if you get the smiling lines you can just bake right here as well so that your makeup can last for a really long time so you can bake as well and still you won't get that extra coverage like it's so light so finely and softly milled it feels really nice and comes with a sifter so the product is really nicely distributed so that you can pick and apply the product and i must say you're getting a lot of shades in this like eight or ten maybe so it's really great to have so many shades in a loose powder it gives a really nice seamless finish like a little bit of blurred out look if you have visible open pores you will see that your pores are looking slight bit blurry which is a huge thing uh, because if you are someone who loves to have a smooth looking base makeup like i do and many of the beauties out there prefer this so this is something which will give you that effect not too much like it will not look like a filter but yeah enough good looking smooth skin look you will get you can watch my detailed review video on this like i have three loose powders the tinted one translucent one and the illuminating one so if you're interested you can watch my detailed review video on this and on the matte compact as well now the compact powder is something i like to apply whenever i'm not wearing much makeup like i'm not wearing a full proof makeup i like to apply the compact powder uh, just over the concealer or maybe if i'm skipping the concealer i like to apply just a little bit of compact powder over this illuminating lotion and i'm sorted of course it blurs out the pores a little bit with the hd matte finish so bit of even looking skin bit of glowing skin bit of uh, blurred out skin just looks so fresh and so natural looking on day-to-day -day basis now shades uh, you will get 10 shades in this and eight shades in this i just checked um uh, yeah so shade range is also really nice so you can go for the shade as per your skin tone and this matte compact powder is having slightly more coverage than the loose powder which in my opinion is great again if you're looking for something like this 
and also this doesn't clog the pores at all neither this now for bronzer i have the wet and wild color icon bronzer in the shade watch shady beaches this is a really nice beautiful warm looking bronzer i like to apply a little bit whenever i want to add a bit of structure into my skin and not too much of warmth and whenever i am looking for that really nice sun kissed warm kind of look bronzy look then i go in with more product like really nice you can see today as well i have applied this bronzer and my skin looks so healthy so beautiful really nicely bronzed up you are getting four shades in this and i think this is the one which has more of a warm tone in it and i personally think this will suit on many skin tone beauties out there this is also a bit of a multitasker product because i like to apply this as an eye shadow and it works great looks beautiful very natural and also i like to add a bit of structure to my nose with this one more interesting thing that this is very pigmented so that you don't have to dig into the pan again and again to get that desired pigment so go with little amount and then you can build up the product if you like uh, but i just go in with like once and apply really nicely and i'm good to go now for blushes k beauty matte blushes in two shades are my absolute favorite i can't just pick one uh, from these two both are my equally favorite first is this soft nude uh, which is a really nice brown tone nude blush with peach and pink hint in it just a really nice neutral balance now the next is this sugar candy which is a really nice fresh looking coral shade but slightly muted because it has that peach tint in it this range also comes in eight different beautiful shades to choose from i have uh, one more shade that is mild berry which is a really nice winter pink glow kind of shade but out of three uh shades that i own i love sugar candy and soft nude the most and in winters i think the mild berry will be my favorite so you can watch my review video on all three of them if you're interested uh this comes in eight shades so you can definitely go ahead and get your hands on your favorite one the one you prefer the most for your skin tone and i like to apply sometimes this or maybe this as for the makeup look i am going for and one more thing and sometimes when i'm confused a little bit i like to mix both of them together and apply to get that really nice nude blush look with a bit of coral hint in it like today i've applied both of them together i just took one of this one of this and blended it really nicely onto my cheeks and it looks really nice nude but bit fresh it's beautiful right these blushes looks very energetic and fresh on skin these are really nicely pigmented and beautifully long lasting since these are beautifully pigmented so the question arises that are these blushes easy to blend so yes these are super easy to blend and gives that really nice hd blurry effect onto the cheeks if you have visible open pores then these blushes can be a boon for your skin for highlighter nika glow goals shimmer brick highlighter in the shade variant good old gold is my absolute favorite these are these actually i mean this comes in three other shades like there are total four shades so these are really nice very soft very mild applies beautifully blends beautifully and you are getting five different tones of golds in it like there is slight bit different hint one is bit of champagne hint one bit of yellow gold kind of hint one is having a little bit of bronzy hint one is very silvery hint in a gold so it looks really nice you can swirl around the pan and apply uh, on your cheeks uh, cheekbones on the highest points of your face and you will be able to see that it looks beautiful very nice you can go for the little bit of amount for that natural looking highlighting effect and if you go in with a lot of product then you can get that really nice highlighted blingy poppy look as well so these are really nice to have either you can go for this one or you can go with other shades like 
they have one with more of corals one with more of a pinks and one with more of a bronze if i'm not wrong so this is my personal favorite i love this it's not at all chunky glittery or heavy on skin it's really softly and finely milled and applies beautifully also this is super buttery and soft i can give you a swatch as well if you're interested these are so nice super buttery and soft you can make it look muted, natural looking or you can just go ahead for that blingy, poppy and festive highlighted look. Uh, it only depends on the kind of uh, the amount you're using for the application and it's a great highlighter at this price point. For eyebrows, first product is this Sugar Arch Arrival or Arc Arrival, whichever way you like to pronounce. Uh, eyebrow definer in the shade 04 Felix Onyx. This is a felt tip uh, eyebrow definer. This is a really nice blackish uh, color. It's perfect for my hair color with a slight bit hint of brown in it which looks really nice, very natural and gives that really nice definition to the uh, eyebrows. Comes with a spoolie as well which makes the uh, product spread blend evenly and easily so this is long lasting as well doesn't come off this definitely is a great product to add that definition to the eyebrows to uh, make them in a really nice shape but if you want that extra bit of definition for that really nice look uh, you can see on my eyebrows that is because of the Nika Oh My Brow Eyebrow Mascara. This comes in just one shade serious brown. This really helps to tame the hairs and set them in a really nice even looking shape. So I personally really like this product as well. Both of them together are beautiful products. Sometimes I think that this looks too black so this comes in handy. It really helps to tame the shade and tame my hairs as well so it's a great product whenever i want to skip on this eyebrow definer whenever i don't want to have that precise shape and structure i skip on this i only apply this and it just really helps to give that definition bit of definition and tames the hair and sets the shape evenly for a really long time like for the entire day so i really love this product now for the eye makeup lime crime venus xl2 eyeshadow palette is something that comes on my top favorite list of the eyeshadow palettes that i have that i own so this is something i always gravitate towards because of the color story you can also watch my three eye looks one palette video in which i have created three beautiful different from each other eye looks with this palette and you will be able to see the pigment and everything really very nicely in that video so yeah this is how the eyeshadow palette looks like now there are a few reasons to love this palette a because of the color story it's a beautiful color story like you're getting some really nice bronzy shades pink shades duochrome chrome shimmery shades you will experience a little bit of fallout but i don't really mind fallout if i love the formulation if i love the shades and everything about the palette i don't mind fallouts you're getting some really nice bronzy and pink shades and with uh, those uh, variable shades you're getting some really cool some really energetic green uh, shades as well. So I really like these green in this palette because these are very unique very different from each other and very different from the other palettes as well. These shades are so nice uh, if you want to have a really good quality eyeshadow palette and if you're a bride to be you can definitely invest in this palette and you will love it. The color story is also very beautiful. It's very spring-like, very fresh, blooming and bronzy with a little bit of green hint in it. It's just so much spring-like. I love this color story. The aesthetic of this palette is very soft. Also, they are super easy to blend. Like these eyeshadows are... Uh, they are pigmented yet they are super easy to blend 
and uh, you can see the eye makeup I did today is from this palette only and I love it. Also the shimmery shades, the duochrome ones are quite mysterious and quite unique. Your eye makeup will appear very unique and flattering. Uh, it's just so beautiful and I love this palette a lot. You're getting some really nice highlighting shades. That pink shade in this palette in bloom, you can wear it as a blush too. If you're looking for a really nice high-end eyeshadow palette with this kind of color story only, then this particular palette is great to own. Now for the eyeliner look, I am so much into this Nykaa Black Magic Kajal these days because uh, I am loving that smoky eyeliner look a lot lately, like you can see. This eyeliner look I did by using this Nykaa Black Magic Kajal. Let me share the swatch as well so that you can have idea of pigmentation. Just one swipe. For that long lasting Kajal look or for this kind of smoky eyeliner look, this is a really great product to own. This just makes the application very very easy, precise and effortless because it takes that enough time to set and meanwhile you can just blend it in a certain way, in a certain shape you prefer, you want to have for your makeup look. So it's a great product to own. And with Black Kajal, a nude eye definer is a must. This is a Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and this is the shade 213 in the nude. Nude eye definers are so much amazing. They just make your makeup look appear very fresh. Your eye area looks slight bit bigger. If you have applied a little bit of smokiness around your eye area, like you went with smoky shades, you can just uh, give them a really nice, give your eyes a really nice fresh look with nude eye definers like I did today. My eyes are looking fresh and wide open. Both of them are retractable. I went ahead with two strokes because this is not a lot lot pigmented which in my opinion is quite great uh, because if nude eye definers are so much pigmented then uh, they look very harsh so I prefer it to be this much pigmented. That's why this is the only nude eye definer I use. It has that perfect pigmentation and it's a nude color and it's not white. So it's like a skin color. So uh, the white ones makes your eye makeup a bit harsh. Like it's like in your face sometimes, not every time, but sometimes it looks like in your face. So skin nude shades comes in handy when you want a subtle look but still if you want your eye makeup should appear very fresh and eye area wide open. For mascara I have a very affordable favorite and that is Nykaa Like It Long Lengthening Mascara. This is an amazing mascara to own. I have applied it on my lashes. This is very black and long lasting. This adds a really amazing length to the lashes and bit of volume and of course it's a long lasting because it's a waterproof mascara. You can watch my detailed review video on this. Many of you beauties love that video and you will be able to see the before and after comparison. So yeah, if you're interested you can check that video. It's a lightweight mascara, doesn't make your eyes uh, look heavy or droopy at all and it's super easy to remove as well. Now to complete the makeup look, the best part is a lip color, a really nice complimenting lip color for your makeup look. And currently I have two lip combos, uh, like favorite. Uh, these combos are something I'm obsessing over them right now and I'm continuously using them from more than a month now and it's just the formulation is absolutely amazing and super long lasting so let me quickly share firstly I have this first combo is this uh, Nykaa lips don't lie pillow uh, sorry Nykaa lips don't lie lip liner in the shade beautiful liar this shade is from the new shade range like they added six more nude shades in their existing lip liner range and this is a beautiful 
I'm wearing this on my lips today. It's a beautiful nude brown, proper nude brown shade. Let me quickly swatch. It's very subtle, very everyday wear and gives a really nice definition. I'll uh, share the uh, swatch after the application of all of them. So with this, with this lip liner, I love to apply the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick in 116 Eye Explore. I have this combination on my lips on today and yeah, this is so amazing. It's a beautiful brown nude again and it's a really nice, uh, very lightweight formula, very much serum-like. It applies beautifully and gives that really nice plump effect to the lips. And I love that. It's mattifying, but not too much. It, it, it is mattifying, but it adds that plump looking shine as well on lips, which looks really, very healthy. And I have all the shades from this range that I reviewed already a long back. So you can watch if you're interested in other shades as well. So here is the hand swatch. The combination is also really nice and will flatter on many skin tone beauties out there and will look great with many makeup looks, like almost all makeup looks. Moving on to the next combo. So again, I have one more lip liner favorite from the Nika Lips Don't Lie range. This is their famous best selling shade, Pillow Fight. If you know, if you have watched my previous videos, you might already be knowing about this. This is a really nice nude lip liner, but more towards the coral hue. It's like a peachy coral brownish kind of lip definer. I have the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick. Of course, I love a really nice liquid lipstick that has a long lasting matte formula. So this is the one that I love to uh, mix together with the pillow fight. And the shade is marvelous. This is a beautiful, perfect pink with slight bit of mauve hints in it. Let me quickly swatch. It's not like too pink. It's just that perfect pinkish, peachish, mauveish mixed kind of shade. And they both look great together. Very beautiful. Pillow Fight and Marvelous looks very fresh together because there is a really nice brownish peach uh, a def definition on the outline of my lips and uh, on lips it's a really nice peachish pinkish lip color with uh, more of a mauve hints in it so it's something which gives the makeup look a very fresh appearance and I love that. And of course, this lip combo is much more long lasting than this one because the liquid lipstick here is very matte and more long lasting than this. This will last for almost more than seven hours and this will last for like four to six hours depending on the environment and your skin type. Okay, so skin type as in lip type, like if you have normal lips, dry lips, I mean to say like that only and here you can see the swatch closely I was waiting because I wanted to the matte lipstick dry down completely so that you can have the uh, better judgment of the shade after drying that's what we wear yes. so as for the makeup look I either go with a really nice brown nude lip color or with a really nice mix of peach, pink and mauve together. Now to set the makeup, MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix Plus in Magic Radiance variant really helps to add that extra luminous glow to the skin and makes your makeup last long for almost the entire day. After using this variant, you will be able to see that your skin is looking more dewy and it adds that healthy looking natural glow which is super beautiful like 
it's there on my skin today and you can see it looks really nice you can go for the original variant as well that one is my favorite too but this adds more luminous glow so i prefer this particular one more these days because uh, either be this one or the original variant both are really great to melt the makeup the different layers of makeup in just one even layer and your makeup appears really nice even and not at all cakey. Also, it helps to hydrate the skin so you won't feel any kind of dryness throughout the day, which in my opinion is so good. You can also use it before applying the primer and as the last step as well uh, to set the makeup. And why you should use this before applying the primer because this is for prepping as well like it's a prep plus prime fix plus so uh, before applying the primer you can just spray a little amount of this the primers and over this the foundation blends super beautifully either be of this one like the color bar one or any other foundation blends super beautifully on this or on the mac original fix plus as well this is great for um like uh, combination normal dry to extremely dry skin beauties if you have a lot of oily skin then you can definitely skip on this and go for the mac original fix plus and with that being said we are at the end of this video all these products are my tried and tested and my current beauty slash makeup favorites i hope you enjoyed watching this video and one more important thing sale is live like the navratri sale and the other festival sales will come up really soon so you can definitely grab your hands grab these products get your hands on these products in a really good discount and purchase links you will get in the description box and soon i'll share a really nice makeup look by using all these products so stay tuned for that do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever my video goes up i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then like share comment your beautiful words and subscribe for more such videos i'll see you soon bye